Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about whether or not gig work is worth it when it comes down to gas. A lot of people say that you can't actually make any money or you can't actually profit from gig work because of the gas prices. So we're going to be talking about that today, some ways to counter all the money that you're spending on your car for maintenance and gas. And we're going to be starting things off at the gas station right here. We're going to fill up right by my house. And then at the very end of our day, when we're right next to our house, we're going to fill back up and see exactly how much gas we spent. We're starting things off with using Upside to save me just a little extra bit on gas. I'll have a link in the description and in the comment section down below. If you guys sign up, you guys could save a little bit on gas as well. So today at the end of the video, we'll go over the exact gas prices for today. But a lot of you guys know that when you're doing gig work and putting all these miles on your car, you're losing value in your car. Every mile you drive, things break and go out. So some people would say, how is this even affordable? Or how can you even profit if you're only making 20 per hour? And that's where tax deductions come in. Hopefully you guys are really focusing on this, but here in Texas, we get 65.5 cents back for every business mile that we drive. So when it comes to tax deductions, we're saving a ton of money. So obviously I'm not a financial expert, but this is what we're looking at. 600 miles in one week is a total of $393 worth of tax deductions. So just put that into perspective because that money that you save right there goes into all your car repairs and helps you face the loss of value in your car. So when it comes to tax season, a lot of us, if we do things correctly, we are paying significantly less in taxes with our tax deductions. So maybe some of you guys are smarter than me when it comes to taxes, but let me know in the comment section what you guys think about that. I think it's a huge incentive to keep doing gig work. All right guys, so it has been about four hours of working. We have made $95, really close to my goal of 100. And now we're gonna go fill up on gas and we're gonna go break down all the numbers for today. Alrighty guys, so we just got back home and we filled up on gas and we spent right around $9 in total. It was a little higher than normal just because I had to idle my car all day because of the extreme heat, where on the cooler months my gas bill is way lower, so I'm looking forward to that. So we worked basically 4 hours today and made $95, but after gas our profit was $86. I know that's not a lot of money, but keep in mind this is part time and our hourly rate was still $21 per hour, even including gas, which is way higher than my state's $7.25 minimum wage. This wasn't necessarily the best day I've had doing gig work either, so just keep that in mind. I've had days where I've averaged way closer to $35 to $40 an hour. So the biggest question here is mostly car repairs. I'm personally able to do most of my car repairs myself or have a family member that could help me out. But for those of you who do not have that option, by the time you guys factor in all the tax deductions that you get to save, I feel like it kind of equals out at the end of the year, especially if you have a decent car. I bought a 2012 Honda Civic and those are extremely reliable and you could run that mileage up all the way to 400,000 pretty easily. Of course, you'll have some repairs along the way, but the car also holds its value a lot more than some other brands. Today we drove 45 miles, which isn't too bad for how much money we made, and that's about $29 worth of tax deductions at the end of the year. Like I was saying, I'm not a financial expert whatsoever. These are all numbers that I have double checked by someone, but I'm kind of just trying to give you guys a general idea of how that works. So bottom line, I would say gig work is worth it, even with all the driving, but in reality, it's all gonna come down to your market and how much money you guys can make per day. This works personally for me, but that's mostly because I run several YouTube channels and I have an Amazon business. So having gig work allows me to focus most of my time on online stuff and I could just make my consistent $100 a day doing gig work. And when you start having multiple streams of income, it's very helpful, especially when one stream of income starts to kind of lack, maybe you'll make some extra on another stream. It really helps kind of balance everything out and it makes my budget look much nicer. So hopefully this helps explain how gig workers can still profit. If someone's telling you that you're losing money by working for Instacart, then they need to go watch this video and learn something. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Slap that like button and I'll see you guys on the next one.